Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. There are a number of different video cards on the market and video chips and options that you have to purchase. And one of those is called the Intel HD 4000 graphics. And that's Intel's new third gen i-series integrated graphics chip. Um, what that means is it's actually the, the chip is built onto the board. It works directly with your CPU. And you don't actually have a video card, a dedicated video card in that computer. What we're going to show you today is how to tell what your graphics are on the computer, some of the benefits of the Intel HD 4000 graphics versus others and things like that. So let's get started. Alright, so we're at my Windows 8 desktop and as you see in the middle of the screen I have the device manager open. To get to device manager you hold the Windows key on your keyboard down and tap the letter X and you get this list up the bottom left hand side, just click on device manager and you'll see this window here. What I've done is I've expanded the display adapters and as you can see I have Intel HD 4000 graphics in this computer. Um, other computers if you don't have the integrated graphics you may see something like Nvidia GeForce 9500 GT or something along those lines. It'll have the make of the video card, the series and the number or whatever um, else is associated with it. But this computer here has the Intel HD 4000 graphics. And most people think, well, it's integrated graphics, you can do just the very basics and that's about it. Not with this one. The Intel HD 4000 graphics can play pretty much every single video game out there, get really good performance out of it. You can watch HD videos on a very high resolution screen. You can load really high resolution pictures. Pretty much do just about anything you'd want with the Intel HD graphics. I'm going to show you something from Intel's website real quick. This is the baseline here. This chart here just kind of shows some performance benchmarks. This baseline is their previous series second generation processor with the Intel HD 3000 graphics. Baseline is at 1.0, and everything else here is the Intel HD 4000 graphics. Same series processor, it's just the third gen i5. Um, and you see it does video games, it does really well. It's a little over 50% increase with video game performance. It's double over double the uh, performance with you know 3D Mark and other benchmarking software and things like that. So the Intel HD 4000 graphics has really done absolutely fantastic things like that. Um, you can have an HD video in less than a minute set up on your computer so you can watch it. It's absolutely fantastic. It even renders really high quality pictures um, really well. This is a roughly 4,000 by 3,000 picture of a mountain range near a lake, um, and it's just zoomed in about, uh, let's say, 250% increased zoom, and it's just going through the entire picture. There is nothing that's slowing it down right here, and this is a very high resolution picture. So the Intel HD 4000 graphics is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you're a gamer, you may not even need to get a video card. This may be more than sufficient for what you're doing. Um, if you like to watch HD videos all the time from like Netflix and places like that, you don't need a video card to do some of that. You just need the Intel HD 4000 graphics. Um, it is just absolutely fantastic. The only reason I can see anyone needing a video card is if you're doing really incredibly high-end photo editing and video editing, things like that, and you just need the extra rendering power. Um, but that's pretty much the only reason I can think to get a video card. Um, versus the Intel HD 4000 graphics. And that's just a very basic overview of your Intel HD 4000 graphics. If you have any other questions about it, feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com.